Good morning, peeps. Donna here, also known as Schwig. Uh, it, I am coming to you this week with my week 26 and 27 update. Unfortunately, I didn't get one out last week. Uh, things have been really hectic for me. Uh, and last week was my six months um, post-op. So that was kind of exciting. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little bit of a review of, of what's um, happened over the last six months. Not a very big review. I didn't take very many notes. <laughs> um, so I am 46 years old. I am five foot six and a half. I had gastric bypass or RNY surgery with Dr. Tom Umbuck of Blossom Bariatrics at the Warren Springs Surgical Center in Las Vegas. My high weight was 337 pounds. My day of surgery was 303.3 pounds. Um, I'm going to go back a couple of weeks here because uh, because I didn't do my update last week. So on March 8th, I was 227.8 pounds. On March 15th, I was 228.7 pounds. That was an increase of plus um, 0.9 of a pound. And this week, as of Wednesday, March 22nd, <clears throat> I am at 227.1 pounds, which is minus 0.7 of a pound. So it's not coming off very quick right now. Um, I <clears throat> kind of attribute that to um, just, I've always done that. For the last six months, I drop weight, drop weight, then I gain a, a, a pound or two. I'll drop, 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 gain a couple. So that's that seems to be my my rhythm. Um, I am down a total of 109.9 pounds since my uh, from my high weight and a total of 76.2 pounds from surgery date. I think that's really respectable. I'm very happy with that. Uh, it, it is um, because it's been kind of slow the last few weeks um, I have been thinking about it a little bit more and which is the reason maybe that I'm up right now at five o'clock in the morning <laughs> after a terrible sleep. Um, I have been very stressed lately and I was watching somebody else's video and um, stress was brought up and I thought, you know what, that's probably, that could be the reason for, for my slow weight loss right now could also just be my body adjustment because like I said I, I do that that seems to be my rhythm although it does tend to be my rhythm more around um, getting my my cycle and uh, that's not happening right now so so I think that's why I'm analyzing it a little bit more but the um, stress that I have right now is um, it's keeping me from sleeping uh, for example, this morning, I'm usually up, uh, not up, but awake three, four times a night for the last few weeks. And um, for example, this morning, uh, it's, I was awake, I went to bed at about midnight. Um, I woke up at two, fell back to sleep for about an hour, been up since about, just after three, about 10 after three. Um, and laid in bed for an hour, um, got up, because it just like I'm like bug-eyed. I just I can't I can't I can't get back to sleep. And this is and it's now like almost five o'clock in the morning. And this has just been going on night after night after night. And I know stress has a lot to do with um, weight gain or in this case because of the surgery weight loss like lack of weight weight loss so I don't know just gotta be patient with it I have been um, trying to do more things during the day um, you know getting out to the gym and even if I do just like a half an hour on the treadmill um, it really really helps to reduce the anxiety that I'm feeling so I'm not ready to really talk about um, the actual issues that I'm having right now uh, but that'll that'll be soon uh, <laughs> and uh, it's it's not all bad it's, it isn't it's just a lot of anxiety that's building up in me right now so 
anyways, I know that I'm doing everything right. I know that, um, you know, I'm eating right. My um, carbs might be creeping up a little bit. Uh, and that isn't, that isn't because of um, like the dreaded potato chips or anything like that. It's from fruit. So I, I don't know, I think that's acceptable, but um, maybe it's too much for me. So I have been having uh, grapefruit every day, one grapefruit. I love these grapefruits. I found they're called a, a sweet green grapefruit. And um, I find that pink grapefruits hurt my stomach. Um, the yellow grapefruits hurt my stomach, but these sweet green grapefruits, they, they actually make me feel good and I get a little bit more energy and um, yeah so I've been having one a day and then I also still have not every night um, but I have uh, frozen raspberries and now the raspberries are they're not from the frozen food section I usually buy them fresh and then stick them in the freezer <laughs> I find that the the ones that you buy in the frozen food section they they taste like a freezer, and even though they're not freezer burnt, they still have that freezer taste. So, um, about every every three four days, no, maybe even longer than that. Now, about every five or six days, I go make a trip to Costco, buy a few packages of um, the fresh raspberries, and then stick them in the freezer and have have uh, some every night. And uh, yeah, so anyways. Um, Oh, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys yet. Um, I did mention after I put my um, before and after face shots on Facebook, I had a few people get a hold of me and want to talk to me about the surgery. And um, um, I have one friend who has <clears throat> her date in Mexico already. After I went and talked to her, she... Um, she got right on it. Holy smokes. Um, and it is coming up soon. Uh, I believe like April 5th or something like that. 5th or 6th. Maybe it's the 9th. Oh, I'm not sure. Anyways, I am so excited for her. She's doing her pre-op diet right now. And um, I'm remembering those days, you know. it's uh, they, Those were tough days. And um, yeah, I just, you know. I'm so super stoked for her that that uh, you know for her to to start to see the changes and and stuff and and I know she's gonna she's gonna do really really well. Um, <clears throat> some NSVs for the last while. Now, um, like I said, this is uh, you know I've I've done six months. I'm six months post off now, so um, some of the NSVs from a long time ago were were things like um, you know my feet not hurting anymore my knees not hurting my hips not hurting my back not hurt I even forget to mention that kind of stuff now it's I gotta think about that because it's been a while it just seems like so long ago <clears throat> that none of these joints have hurt for for that long that I'm forgetting about them um, and that's a really really awesome feeling uh, I can totally sit cross-legged now without, um, um, without it being any effort and, uh, that feels really good. Uh, I'll even find that I'm sitting cross-legged and I didn't even realize that I did that. Uh, so that's kind of a weird kind of feeling. I have, um, junked out one of my closet, well, my only closet, closed closet, um, I, I'll, I'm going to insert a picture here. Uh, the top <clears throat> picture was obviously before. The bottom picture is after. <clears throat> the top picture, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> have, a, <clears throat> have a drink, peeps. The top picture is obviously before. The bottom picture is after. In the top picture, <clears throat> um, I could not fit another hanger in my closet. That it just wasn't physically possible. And now I've got a ton of room. Uh, the only problem I can see having now is that I'm going to have to do my laundry more often. <laughs> 
Um, I did not weed out all of my pants. <clears throat> there are pants still in there that are too big for me. Uh, but it was quite a job. It was quite a chore going through all of that stuff. I'm, I, I haven't folded it all, but it's all sitting on my living room floor. <laughs> and I will um, take some video of it and uh, probably insert that here uh, and show you guys how how much stuff that I've, I've gotten rid of. Um, what else? My house cleaning. My house cleaning. So uh, I'm I am not the neatest person in the whole world. I wish I was, but I am not. It's an effort for me to keep my house clean. I'm one of those people when somebody phones and says, "Oh yeah, no, I'm going to I'm going to be there in 15 minutes." So, you know, you busy, whatever. And before, I would have said, "Oh yeah, no, I'm busy." No, no, no. I I I, I you know, don't come over because I just wouldn't have the energy to to tidy up and and um or I wouldn't wasn't dressed or whatever, didn't want to see people. Um when I did want to see people, or when I when they had no choice, I had to I had to entertain somebody, um, whether it was for business or not. <laughs> I would run around my house and and clean. I always call my house fifteen minutes from ready. It's not like it's a disaster area, um, but it's in my eyes it's not acceptable for company without fifteen minutes worth of cleanup. And I would run around and I would clean up everything as fast as I could and then they would come and knock on the door and I would be beet red and a ball of sweat and um, embarrassed, just embarrassed, excuse me. Um, and so what I've noticed, number one, sorry, I, I feel like I've got a hiccup brewing. Um, Number one, um, my house is in general cleaner, tidier, uh, and I've noticed when I vacuum, when I'm washing floors, um, or when I'm just, you know, really trying to do a good job, I'm not sweating. I'm not this ball of sweat anymore. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it, it's it's really an odd feeling for me because, and it's it's been like that for a little bit now, but I um, I don't know, probably for the last couple of months I've noticed it, but <clears throat> I've never, I haven't actually mentioned it. I'm sorry, peeps. For those of you who drink when I, you see someone drinking, have another drink. My water is with me all the time. Um, last thing before I go to bed, I fill up my water, I take it into the bedroom with me. Um, I get up, I carry it to the washroom, I carry it to the kitchen, I carry it to the living room, I carry it to the office. It goes everywhere with me. I take it, it comes in my vehicle with me, it goes to the movie theater with me. Um, this here is so awesome. So I was mentioning my raspberries earlier. I was just going to go off on a little tangent here. <laughs> I mentioned my raspberries earlier. So a couple weeks ago, I went to Costco. I bought my raspberries. I stuck them in the freezer. And um, it was movie night for my mom and I. Uh, we go to the movies every single week. Uh, and my, I, I thought, what can I take that's healthy to the, to the theater? I want to take a, a treat. You know, she has her popcorn and... What can I have to munch on? So, oh, well, you know what? Maybe I'll take my raspberries, but they're not frozen yet. Um, and uh, so what I did was I emptied out my Yeti cup. I got my um, raspberry, took my raspberries out of the freezer. They were frozen all around the outside, but the inside ones weren't frozen yet. Um, you know, they just weren't in there long enough. But I thought, okay, that's good enough. I'll just put put the raspberries in the Yeti cup. No water in there. And uh, did that, took them to the movie theater, got uh, got seated in my seat, got all, you know, ready to watch the movie. <laughs> so they were probably in there for 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour before I um, started eating them. What I noticed was 
all my raspberries were frozen, even the ones that weren't frozen before. After putting them in my cup, that's how good these freaking cups are. Um, after putting them in my cup, they continued to freeze. <laughs> I think that is absolutely awesome. So anyways, have another drink. Um, here's another thing I've noticed, and this is while I've been uh, kind of thinking about my weight progress and how it slowed down in the last few weeks. Three weeks is a little long. It's still going in the right direction. I said I was minus 0.7 of a pound um, on Wednesday. It's Friday right now. And uh, so it's, it is going in the right direction. It's just slow. Um, what I've noticed too is, and it's done this two other times before, when my weight slows down this much, I notice a large decrease in my body fat percentage on my scale. So I don't know if that's got anything to do with like body adjustments and stuff. Um, you know, I started out at something like, I think I was 53% body fat, um, according to my scale. I've, I've never done one of those getting submerged and the more accurate kind, but so I was about 53 for the for the last quite a while I don't know month six weeks it's been at 44 percent and then all of a sudden um, all of a sudden over the last three weeks my weight loss has slowed gain, lose gain lose but I've lost two percentage in my body fat on according to my scale so yeah that's kind of all funky I don't know has anybody else out there noticed uh, stuff like that. It's kind of be interested in knowing what you guys all all notice if if that's a if that's a thing. <laughs> so if you like my early morning look, <laughs> give my video a thumbs up right down there. Hit subscribe if you aren't already. Um, uh, if you are new to my channel, hey. And if you are returning to my channel, thank you. Love each and every one of you. Thank you all for your your ongoing support. I'm at like 260 subscribers now. Like I gotta start thinking about this 300 subscriber giveaway. I already have a pretty good item for to give away. Um, so it'll be exciting once I get there. 300 subscribers. So again, like, subscribe. Have a good day, peeps. Peace out.